we now demonstrate you the installation of Carl Zeiss Primostar 3 microscope. You can see the part number here. <clears throat> this is the main cardboard box. We have removed the microscope and kept it outside. Now we will show you how we install this microscope. Before that we will show you what are the parts that have come along with the box. This is the main microscope stand. Then we have the uh, ha uh, halogen lamp housing. We have the 100x objective and oil immersion bottle. We have the dust cover. We have the operation manual. And then we have a pouch where you have a spare lamp, tool kit and some allen keys here. We will be using only this toolkit for installation of the microscope. Now we will take out the microscope and put it on the table. Remember to hold the microscope here with your left hand and your right hand on the trinacular tube and straight vertically lift the microscope and put it on the table. Now we remove the transit fatty. Hold the microscope at the handle with your right hand and put your left hand here in this position and lift it wherever you want to lift the microscope. Keep it on the table, remove the transit packing. Please remember to remove this particular packing by taking the stage up remove the packing also remove this packing now the microscope is without packing this is the ring we unscrew this and put a blue filter here if available just put this ring back at the back side you can see main cord this is the main cord main squad is inserted here you can see here AC 220 volts the main squad is inserted and this is the power on off switch we switch on the power the power is switched on as soon as the power is switched on you can see the blue light here you can increase the light intensity And you can see the blue light intensity and the light here. You can reduce the light intensity. So this is the light intensity, on off switch, coarse and fine focus, X and Y shifting for the sample. And you can change the objective by holding the nose piece like this. We will now fix the trinacular, remove the transit packing remove the transit packing tape and uh, we have a grub screw here supplied this is for the stability of the microscope trinacular tube so remove this trinacular tube this is a knurl screw that we remove and we put the grub screw here so that you get a stability and there is no accidental removal of the screw and the trinacular is safe so turn it until it locks So that's it, the screw is fixed here, this is the binocular, you can change the IPD, for tall people you can have this IPD, you can also change this IPD, this is the trinacular tube, you can see here at the back side we have the allen, loosen this, take out the cap. Then we have the then we have the 
camera, remove the camera cover cap and also the plastic tape, you can see this tape, this is the C mount threading, this is the camera adapter, you can see the C mount threading, hold the camera like this so the dust falls below, thread in the C mount adapter, this is 0.5x C mount adapter and then take out this cap, put the adapter and the camera on the trinacular and see that the cable comes at back side and tighten the trinacular allen screw that completes installation of the camera now you have to put the usb cable and then put it to the computer